The Email Sender Authentication page can be found via the Payroll Settings tab, which is accessed here or here. This page will allow you to set up DKIM, which is Domain Keys Identified Mail, on a domain of your choice for emails sent via the platform from an address nominated by you, such as payslip notifications, leave or expense requests. This is to ensure that mail servers that receive these emails don't think we are trying to spoof your emails because we are pretending to be you and so won't put the emails in the recipient's spam or junk folders. For example, if the domain for your company was mybusiness.com.au and we sent a payslip notification to your employees with a from address of payman at mybusiness.com.au, receiving mail servers will not believe that the incoming mails were from you as they can easily see that they are from us and so they'll mark the emails as spam. To avoid this issue, we can sign the emails with DKIM. Setting up DKIM email authentication requires you to make changes in your payroll settings and your DNS host. To set up the authentication, click on the Add button as shown here. You'll need to enter in the domain that you wish to authenticate and then click Register. Once you do that, the system should generate a set of CNAME records that you'll need to add to your DNS settings. You'll need to contact your IT department or web admin for further assistance on adding these records if required. Once you've done that, you'll be able to come back to this page and there'll be the details along with an unvalidated button for your domain. If you've created the records correctly, the domain will then be validated. Once your domain has been validated, any email we send for you on your behalf that uses that domain as the from address will be signed with DKIM and will have a very good chance of being delivered to your recipient's inboxes. Just a note on this, in order to set up authentication, you need access to the domain's DNS settings. For this reason, you're not able to follow this process for restricted email domains, for example, Yahoo or Gmail, because in those cases, you don't have access to the DNS settings. I hope this has been helpful. This is the Email Sender Authentication page.